watch as I take an extremely simple gift idea and let it run entirely out of control. When you're gaming, you need a lot of different kinds of dice. There are D4s that have four sides, D20s with 20 sides. Last Christmas, I got my kids some D100s as kind of a joke because as the number of sides goes up, they get less and less practical. I thought that uh, maybe some dice with an infinite number of sides would make great gifts for some friends of mine. So I bought some of these uh, powerful spherical black magnets online. Now, they're pretty cool, but that is not exactly a gift. Like, I usually make things for gifts, so how do I turn that into something I can give people? And it struck me, I could make a brand. Like, I could do some logo design and packaging design and catchphrases and uh, all that stuff, which is totally fun. And thus, the infinity was born. Hey, where are you going? For a fancy box like this, though, I wanted to use nice brass hinges. Now, in order to cut down on costs and to get the smoothest action possible, I tried to get some free range hinges. Now, witness the power of this fully armed and operational infinity case. Now I know what you're thinking. You made this nice box, but I didn't see anything to keep it shut. Well, I did think of that, and the nice thing is that the Infinity is a powerful magnet, so I embedded some other magnets in the lid to make it so that it stays shut under magnetic power uh, when the Infinity is in there. Now you might be thinking, hey, I like that logo, and the box came out nice, but what a product really needs is promotion, an actual commercial. Now, of course, shooting a commercial for a Christmas present or as a Christmas present is a little weird, but uh, hey, I'm giving it a shot. I actually did it. I shot a ridiculous over-the-top commercial for the Infinity. Roll it. I was searching. When you're on a roll and you never want to stop. Infinity. 
when the odds are not on your side, infinity. And I will roll you forever. Infinity by Retrotech. Now, as Christmas projects go, this one was actually pretty simple. Just two 3D printed parts and some laser cut wood. So not exactly the most instructive build video. So I thought maybe I would take a minute to just talk about some of the tricks I use to make a project like this go fairly smoothly. And the thing I'd really like to highlight is test pieces, test pieces, test pieces. For instance, I wanted the hinges to have a very exact fit, so I test printed this tiny test piece. And the nice thing about that is I could print it and it only takes 10 minutes. I can continue modeling the rest of the project while this is printing, so you can actually 3D print in parallel with your model design to get the thing done quicker and to be sure about your tolerances. Because the hinge motion is a little strange in those, I couldn't model them directly in CAD, so I had to be a little bit careful that the parts didn't interfere as the lid was opening up. So in order to handle that, I actually hacked out a cubic part of the back of the model and printed that out to test the fit. I often find myself doing that where I'll hack off a cylinder's worth or a cube's worth of something that has a critical dimension and print that out ahead of time. So I'm not printing out the whole object, just the feature that I'm not sure will come out. I also cut out this test piece because the bottom of the box has a lot of bridging and I wanted to make sure that the indent was enough that when it sagged, the wood would still fit in there reasonably. And I still had to clamp it kind of hard to get everything to work out, but it, it was clearly uh, good enough. So that's three test pieces for one box design. So you can imagine how often I do those things. But the nice thing is you can print them fairly quickly and fine tune your model. I know you saw me using that uh, piece of cardboard in the laser cutter so that I could more accurately position the wood and pick the exact grain that I wanted to appear on the top of the box. Those pieces of cardboard can act as test pieces as well. Like I cut these out to test the fit in the final model. I hope that's enough instructional portion. I don't know. You guys should really tell me if you want more kind of like tips and tricks or whether just seeing the weird builds is good enough. Also, let me know if that commercial was too weird and shouldn't have been shown. I'm, I'm worried I'll never be able to show my face on the internet again. But uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs>